We now move to our next session, Bridging from the Beginning, where Sagar and Dejasvi will talk to us about their experiences with teaching preschoolers and how they bridged the learning gap for them. Dejasvi is a transformational teaching fellow and is working in partnership with her class teachers to develop a Montessori classroom in a low-income private school in Chennai. And Sagar is a transformational teaching fellow and teaches nursery and kindergarten children in Delhi. Welcome, Sagar and Dejasvi. Over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, welcome everyone to our session. I'm Sagar Ahuja, a 2019 Teach for India Fellow. I taught 9th and 10th grade for two years during my fellowship in Silampur, Delhi. Post my fellowship, I joined Transformational Teaching Fellowship and chose to teach elementary grade as I saw a huge learning gap in my secondary students. They could not understand English and were five to six years below their grade level. They could not understand basic concepts of other subjects as well, which I was teaching, that was science and social studies. About 50% of the students lacked in, their, in expressing their voice and didn't have that confidence to express their thoughts. I strongly felt that if things would have started with them in early stage, the scenario could have been totally different. I will be very honest with you all, I never expected, not even in my dreams, that I will get opportunity to teach nursery and KG grade as Teach for India intervened from first grade onwards. I was really afraid about managing three to four years kids that to an online setup. But it was an amazing experience to, cheese, uh, to teach these kids of SDMC Government School of Lajpat Nagar, Delhi. And today I'm here to share some of my highlights from this journey. Over to you, Dejo. Hi everyone, good evening. I'm Tejasvi, I'm from Chennai. Um, so uh, next year is going to be the fifth year of me working with Teach for India, Chennai. Um, so I did my, I started my fellowship uh, in Chennai uh, in the school called Vigyani Ketan, which is a low income private school. Uh, I, did, I did grades three and four uh, in my fellowship, uh, post which um, I uh, did the piloting of grade one with Teach for India Chennai. Uh, during that time, uh, I was involved in a kindergarten project uh, for the development of phonics, helping the teachers and children um, in the kindergarten classroom. Um, so I got a chance to uh, interact with the kids of that age, with the teachers, um, all of them. Um, and I also, when I was doing grade one, I also thought uh, that, um, you know, I wanted to try some concrete math um, with the class. Uh, so I went on to look for some videos uh, and I happened upon Montessori there. Um, and uh, I uh, tried a lot of uh, concrete uh, based uh, mathematics in my classroom with my children. Um, and that's when uh, I thought it's a good time for me to go equip myself. Um, and I went on to do my higher studies. Mm, and uh, to do uh, from uh, Association Montessori International, which we call it as AMI. Uh, I did my training. I'm specialized in the three to six years uh, age category. Mm, and post the course, uh, I wanted to come back to the school that I was working in and convert the kindergarten environment there into a Montessori environment. So going forward, um, we hope to have uh, Montessori environments in the school. Uh, which was uh, before, which used to be the kindergarten classrooms. And we are in the process of converting the kindergarten environments into a Montessori environment with Transformational Teaching Fellowship being an enabler for that. Um, I look forward to uh, share my uh, moments in the journey so far. Thank you. Um, so to start off with, um, I think um, I want to share on why, what, what are we here today for? Like why we have chosen this particular um, uh, piece of, um, uh, you know, taking parents as stakeholders. Uh, so to start off with, uh, I just want to share a small story. So they, 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 I, I came across this child who was in my neighborhood so that child was uh, 3.5 years old. And um, so that child, he used to come to my house almost every day. And 
he 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 did not come to play with the toy or ask me for my mobile phone or uh, things like that but all, all he would do is come and go to the water dispenser in my uh, house and he would want to open the dispenser by himself fill water ask for a glass of a glass and fill water by himself um, and close it he used to do this several times right he used to open close fetch water drink it keep it back he used to constantly do this repeat so many times and i was very curious like of course right like there's nothing like water is not available in his house or it's not like the parents don't give him water or he's not going to drink it there or something but something that brought him here then when i had a conversation with the mother with the parents i then came to know that that particular child was was not getting the kind of opportunity to open the tap by himself to open the dispenser by himself to turn it to fill it and to drink it it was all not uh, he he was not able to do it by himself and he was not given that opportunity there to like you know to refine his movements or to um build himself or to for him to be able to do it by himself to for him to be independent so then uh, i figured that maybe that's why he wants to come here and keep drinking water as many as times that he wants and that's when i thought of like how if we can go about changing what the parents think what, how it will be if the parents understand the child better so um i in fact set my goal in my year one to only work with parents and that's why we are here to share the some of our moments with our parents now let's meet abhamda uh one of my little four years kg grade student and a first generation learner from his family when i recall july 2021 i remember him never speaking to class or responding to anything which was asked he was regular in online classes but never used to submit uh, any worksheets which were sent as a post work or videos which were asked to make on asking his mother she shared sir hum kaha itne padhe likhe hain jo karna hai aapko hi karna hai means that we are not qualified and skilled enough to support our kid in studies and it's all teachers responsibility and sadly this was a similar situation for about 70% of my students not just during the lockdown but also in general parents of these communities have this feeling of not being capable enough to support their kid in studies how my teachers and parents work as equal partners for the uh, uh work as equal partners for the holistic learning and bridging the gap this was the big question we both were working towards during our last year journey so one of the strategies that we used uh with parents was build relationships with parents and between parents uh so what did we do um we started off with orienting the parents um orienting them um to the idea of uh the early years education um what did we exactly do we uh, in those sessions we um made them uh, realize made them understand that uh as adults what we all have to do is just follow the needs of the child rather than imposing what we think that the child of that particular age must be knowing and we also um met the parents um very often uh at least thrice per week um in small groups and we discussed them with them the ideas uh just talk to them about the child Uh, about what the child's routine um about um what are the different things that the child is interested in um and uh, how can we as adults help the child uh how can we help his development off and what what are the powers of this child so very simple topics where it is more not like lecturing but an interaction because they they deal with parents children every day right like day in and day out they deal with children so uh, it was more like interaction have you what have what what do you do at times when the child does something like this 
what do you see the child do this? So that's those were the questions that we uh, spoke about in our conversations with parents. Um, and uh, we also um, got parents to uh, come and see the space um, that we have created for them in our classroom, for them to come and look at it, for, come, for, for them to know what actually we are, um, what, what is our goal and what are we moving towards and what are we all creating together. So we bring them to the space, make them sit, um, uh, have a look at the space, have a look at how and what our day looks like, spend time with us. So these are some of the things that we did to build relationship with parents. And building capacity in parents to support their child's learning at home. So video resources were created both for parents and students. The main focus of these videos was to guide parents and students and providing them a space to understand the content which was covered in online classes and practice it with teachers. These resources were easy to understand, easy to use, and most importantly, enjoyable. They also helped students who were not able to attend online classes because of non-availability of devices at the time of class and bridge the learning loss for them. Parents were guided through PTMs and voice notes how, on how to use these resources. So in PTMs, we used to show them these videos and tell them how to use it. First, the content was covered in the class. Then this video was sent to uh, parents and they used to practice the content. And then uh, after that, they used to practice it with students. Here's a short glimpse of a video where parent is supporting her kid. Mm. One, 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 two, two, one, one, two, two, three, three, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight. Something that's very close um, to our hearts, very um, beautiful was um, the regular feedback that we get from parents uh, during our one-on-one -on -one check ins um, where we only meet parents um, individually and uh, seek feedback listen to them, just give them our ears, uh, and it's just the time for them to uh, talk openly uh, about the child, about the child's education or whatever they need. Um, so there were very beautiful moments where, the, like, like you can see uh, on the screen, where the parents also given feedback and how uh, the parent also talks about how very beautiful big topics, like how, um, education is very important for the child and um, how can we support the development of the child? And, uh, you know, like um, we have, we, we take the feedback and we, we try to incorporate it in our online classes because that's when we started. Uh, we, we, we note it down and when we plan for the class, we try to incorporate that. So uh, these one-on-one -on -one check ins uh, definitely uh, built like a personal bond between us and the parents um, um, in, at a very, um, like a huge level. I think this was like a base uh, for the trust that they have on us and for the support that they give us and for being able to, you know, uh, cooperate and uh, understand the child better. So these uh, particular, this particular session, I think um, helps help both us and the parents to go in depth and understand each other better and the child better. Now let's see how working together in partnership helps students, parents and us to grow. So parental, in, uh, parental investment increased from 20% to 85%. This includes parents being active on WhatsApp group parents consistently dedicating time for supporting kids in their studies, parents being regular in getting post work done from kids, 
communicating growth of students and areas which need special attention. As a result of this, attendance and engagement in online classes increased from 15% to 60% and work submission post classes increased from 10% to 70% within the first four months of our intervention. This is a uh, thought shared by uh, mother of Nandini. Sagar sir ke videos madedar aur asan hai aur unki madad se mein bhi apni Nandini ko pada paati hu. Means that the videos which are shared by Sagar sir are really interesting and easy and with the help of these videos, I'm able to help my kids. I think the next uh, shift that we saw, I would like to call it the conquest of independence in children, um, where the children feel more confident when they are independent, right? And when children feel that they are capable of to do something, when children feel that I'm able to do things that people around me do. So we sort of um, recorded children's uh, independence. Um, you can see the table here at regular intervals, we did that. And this is a video of a child who is who at home um, chooses to do some of his own things and chooses to help few things that he can do. Um, so things like he arranges or sorts out the utensils. Um, and being able to uh, help prepare a meal. Being able to uh, dry out his own clothes. And preparing his own bed. and serving the meal for himself. Now let's watch an another video. recognize this vibrant and joyful child. Just little, listen to the ring in his voice. This is our own Abu Hamza, who was an epitome of shyness, now facilitating a poem for fifth grade students. Because of his interest in learning and reciting poems, Abu has shown a remarkable progress in accurately understanding and using sounds and phonics, and reading two and three letter words confidently. We have also shown uh, increase in other student vision indicators such as confidence, creativity, collaboration. And this is not just the story of Abu Hamza, but about 80% of students have shown this kind of remarkable growth through our work. So what are we learning through our work? Um, to bridge the gap. I think what we are learning is um, the, I think it's a two way learning, uh, meaning we learn from parents and the parents learn uh, from us. So when we learn from the parents, what do we learn? We learn more about the child so that we all together can help the child in learning better. Also, I started with a hunch that uh, a hunch and my last year journey has completely validated that if we start with kids at early stage, it could be an amazing experience and could be a huge step to, uh, to undone the educational inequity we have in our country. Also creating a structured uh, structures and resources for both parents and students can work wonders as parents have limited education and don't understand English language. So these kind of resources can uh, do wonders and you can see how this have helped in the growth of students. So with this, we come to the end of this session. Thank you so much for being part of this wonderful session. Thank you. Thank everyone. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sagar and Dijasvi. It warms my heart to see all your passion and hard work leading to such incredible results in your classrooms. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.
and thank you so much for giving us this opportunity. You. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Okay.